that was a friendly game, so to speak. That was a preparation game, and you just saw how intense those these both these teams are. That's characteristic of these teams. They know each other very well. The Greeks come in, they won all five of their games in Sevilla. Just talking to them, they were just full of confidence. This was a team that was put together, not nobody knew really knew what to expect, but they've come out and done well. Well, buenas tardes and bienvenidos a España. Good evening and welcome to Madrid. The first of two games to come here in the top 16 phase of the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup. First possession to Serbia in the white uniforms. The three off the mark by Markovic. Radulica with the offensive rebound. And the second offensive rebound by Nikola Kalinic. He's a player who do all the little things to help his team win. And he's very good on defense. We see him going to the boards hard. He'll hit some open shots. He's a great player coming. The ethniki of Greece, the national team, in their characteristic blue uniforms. Markovic with the steal. It's a two-on-one as Markovic and Bailitsa go in transition. And Yorgos Prindices with the steal. That was a sure basket for Serbia. Prindices very alert here to steal this pass. John, talk about the two-on-one. You would expect that to end with a finish. Did Markovic maybe give the ball too early? He gave the ball too early. It was a good idea. It was a bounce pass, but there's a little bit too much distance between the two players, and that allowed Prindices to recover and get his hand on that ball. So a good defensive stop by Greece. Back the other way. Here's the Lord of the Rings, Nico Zizis, has more international medals all the way down to the junior ranks than any other Greek player. And that's that patented push shot by Brindisis. Just wouldn't drop for him. Manja Belica hands off to Teodosic. So Bogdanovic does not get a start this afternoon for Serbia. Kalati steals the ball from behind. Teodosic and lays it up and in. Both these teams generate a lot of points off of their defense. We're going to see a lot of physicality on the perimeter. Both teams, big players, play physically. Greece come in as the top team in Group B. Serbia finished fourth in Group A. Radulica, this shot blocked by Papa Nikolaou. That's a great help down by Papa Nikolaou. Barusi's left his feet, but Papa Nikolaou was there to help bail him out with the blocked shot. Six seconds on the shot clock for the Serbs. Kalinic going to have to make something happen. His shot is short as Prindices contests the little jump shot. Back come Greece. Kalatis with a wide open look. That draws the front of the rim. Bailitsa with the rebound. He can put it on the deck. He'll give it to Kalinic. And Kalinic goes Ooh. to the cup. Kalinic with a thunderous dunk. And he goes at Giannis Barusis. John. It's game on. He wound up for this dunk. Watch him. He just went straight to the basket, wound up, and threw that ball down. One-handed. See it there. Well, if you're at home and you don't get to watch Serbia very often and you're wondering why Coach Sasa Djordjevic doesn't start Bogdanovic, meet Nikola Kalinic. What a hard-nosed player. We saw him earlier grab that offensive rebound. Here he is again on the break, taking advantage of his size, his length, his athleticism. Kalinic, he earned that and one. Kalatis, the Greek American, gets a pass inside to Barusis. This is a nice matchup, John Barusis versus Radulica. Barusis wins that first battle. Barusis is very talented for a big man, very skilled. He's averaging 26 minutes per game, scoring 12 points. 10 rebounds. He's also getting he's the second assist leader for this team, 2.6 assists per game. Double, double per game for the number five, Greece. It's a pass into the low post to Prindices. Gonna back down Markovic. Teodosic helps out as he digs down in the low post. And Perusis shows he can step away from the basket. I like his reaction. He just got dunked on the time before. He calmly sank that three pointer. Okay, Dosich left to catch and shoot, and that's a terrific demonstration of how to use a screen. Point your puppies at the bucket and knock down a J. Great execution by the Serbians there. Galatas, a pocket pass to Prindices. 
His shot wouldn't fall because Bailitsa knocked it out of the cylinder. Good defense by the number eight from Serbia. Reminder that once the ball strikes the rim, any player can touch it in the cylinder, offensive or defensive player. Jesus tries to turn the corner on the screen. Good defense by Radulica. Nice but pass. That's a nice in. pass. There's the assist that you alluded to earlier by Barusis. Yes, I like that pass by Zisis into Barusis. And Barusis, as we saw already, he's got great passing skills from the block. Radulica, terrific patience in the post as he steps through and finishes with his left hand. Well, oh, he's such a wide body. He's got pretty good footwork, able to create the space to get that shot off. Good rhythm to this game, not many stops. Zesis, he'll throw the three. Zesis is the captain of this team. He's shooting very well from three points. And coming into this game, 46% from the three-point range. Teodosa tries this for a shot of his own. That strikes the front of the rim. John, you'd love that percentage, 46% from behind the arc. That's excellent. Jesus is leaner off the mark. A great action here. Very few stoppages. Referees give the players a chance to get some good game flow. Markovic gets deep. He'll kick to Bielitsa. He'll put it on the floor. A little fake. And a give to Radulica, who powers it up and in. Yeah, he goes strong to the basket. Nice penetration by Belisa. Found his teammate Radulica, who used the rim to shield and get extra space from his defender. Pilates. His arching pass finds Perusis, and then he gets it back. Pilates with a push. Gets his own rebound, and Greece gets another opportunity to score. This trip down the floor. Prindices with the drive, no good. Kalinic with the rebound for Serbia. Radulica spins in a low post, runs into Verusis. His pass intercepted by Papa Nikolaou. Well, Markovic reaches to commit the foul in transition. Papa Nikolaou is saying to the Australian referee, why don't you just let the play develop? And it's a talking point, John. It's a tactical foul to stop transition. Referees talk about what they say is rhythm, speed, balance, and quickness. If a foul doesn't interrupt those things, they'll sometimes let play develop. In this case, Papa Nikola would have loved play to carry on for the easy two. Exactly. You're looking at a no harm, no foul situation where basically that foul stopped the short two points for the Greek team. Papa Nikola, his three is off the mark. He'll be really annoyed now. Easy two taken away from him, and he couldn't knock down that three. The Elitza has good length over Zizis. Kalinic, he lines up a three, and he knocks it down. Nikola Kalinic is saying to his teammates, that's why Coach Georgievich starts me. That's right. He's got eight points already these first six minutes here. Papa Nikolaou in the low post against Teodosic. Good movement by the Greeks. As they've got five out right now. They'll have a true pivot inside. Galati's going to make something happen off the dribble. It's good. How about that? Serbia defended well. And Galati's the only reason he shot that because the shot clock was going down. But he made a count. Colin, it separates from Papa Nikolaou. His pass to Teodosic was... Off the mark, he goes to foul from behind by Kalatis. That was a great observation made earlier, Liam. Watch Teodosic come off these screens. You see, with zero seconds left when he got that shot off the shot clock. But he uses those screens so well, and he's smart. He's a clever player. He just knows he has to stop, and he knew Kalatis was right on his tail. So he threw the foul just by with some extra good basketball IQ. Stefan Jovic in the game for Serbia. It's a fadeaway shot by Teodosic as the shot clock was running down. Good stop by the Greeks. Terrific defense by Bailitz as he stops the ball in transition. Kalafis, the number eight for Greece. Wasn't with the team at the European Championships last year in Slovenia. The pass.
patented Prentice's push. It looks awkward, but he gets it down, John. That's difficult to do with your right hand, which is his strong hand. He's he's developed where he can do with both hands. Again, he goes to his left. That's a difficult shot. Bailitsa. Top of the key. Crossover dribble against Wiyakas, and he converts. You know, Bailitsa has struggled from three-point range. We all know he's a great three-point shooter. He's only shooting 21%. He is not settling. He's giving little head fakes, and he's taking the ball to the basket and putting pressure on that Greek defense. Great job by Bailitsa so far. That's his first basket of the evening. Wiyakas is trying to post up. Jovic, there's the push shot again for Prentices. He's undersized as a four, but we see the quickness and the agility he has. And that push shot, his patented push shot, allows him to get his shots off against taller opponents before they can really get up and contest it. He really cannot guard that shot. Well, this game is perfectly poised thus far. You see the score is 17 each. And Nenad Kerstic and Bogdanovich both come into the game, notably John Kerstic playing without the bandage on his left knee that we saw in pool play in Group A. Yeah, we know he's been nursing a leg injury. He did get some minutes towards the end of the group phase there in Granada. Let's see how he comes out tonight. Kerstic played 17 minutes against the Brazilians in the fourth game, just six minutes against Spain, the final group game for the Serbians. And you have a telling influence here as Jovic glides to the basket for the two. Great physicality by Jovic. Now we're going to watch him pressure the ball. He's uh, just giving the Serbian team a, the spark they're looking for. Lucas, top of the key, just in for the Greeks. Mazaris gives him the ball on the screen. Lucas going to try and test the mobility of Kerstic. And that was good defense by Kerstic. Wujak is, is very difficult to defend inside. He's very crafty, great footwork. He's watching in EuroLeague. He's got some moves. Let's see if he gets a chance to get off in this game. But Donovan wheels around the screen. Kerstic rises and he knocks down the mid-range jump shot. There's the length of Bogdanovich. Great length by Bogdanovich. He very calmly sunk that jump shot. It's important that he makes his first shot. Gives him extra confidence. Might be a portent of things to come for Serbian fans when the prodigious young talent can knock down his first jump shot. The foul here against uh, Jovic as Zizis steps out for Greece. Here's a guy who can really shoot it. Kostis Vasiliadis in the game. Watch him. Watch him off the ball. Vasiliadis just moves like crazy. And he can get hot in a hurry. Billy to bodies up. On Prindices, the jump hook this time good, a more traditional hook there. An array of weapons from Prindices. That's a great move there with footwork, quickness. Gets that shot off against a taller opponent. Prindices with eight points lead the Greek, leads the Greeks. Less than a minute to play here. The first quarter of what has been a perfectly balanced game between these two teams. John has great pace and great rhythm. We haven't had a timeout yet. No, we haven't had a timeout. There's both teams are executing their offense. It's good defense. We see Kirsch is very good at getting position down low. Vujakis was whistled for the foul as he's trying to push Kirsch is further from the basket. Kalinic. There's a pass into Kirstich. Kirstich powers it up. And Vujakis puts the no layup rule in effect. No easy baskets. Kirsch has got deep position. He was already pinned close to the baseline. He went baseline anyways. Was able to get a good look there. Uyakis made a foul. Did not allow the and one play. Kerstich for a big uh, player. John's got good quick feet. Soft hands. Got a great shot from mid-range distance. He gets better. We've seen him since he came back from, to Europe from the NBA. He really developed his inside game. It all starts with a great position and gets near the rim. Wide body, pulse up for big target. We see he has good footwork in the block. Kersic had three years with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Spent a little time at Logan Airport in Boston. Time enough to get the flight in and out. Spent long in Boston. We've got a foul away from the ball here, and I think it's on Vasiliadis. You talked about, uh, John, how he moves well. No, it's going to be on Buyukis on the moving screen. 
we see there's quite a an obvious foul there by Vujakis. You definitely cannot move. You got to let the your player use the screen. Serbia doctors to check in for the Greeks. Serbia lead by four. Bogdanovic shot off the mark. He became a little too early in the shot clock, John, for a, you'll get that three really anytime you like. Yeah, he was eager to get a shot off. You could just see it. He wanted to get that shot off. And we see Colin is fighting for the offensive rebounds, goes over the back, got his hand on the ball, but he got too much contact with his body. Good demonstration of how to block out by Papa Nikolaou. Exactly, Papa Nikolaou showing that he can box out. Physical player with the three spot. Tay Dosis comes back in for the Serbs. Kamakoglu is checking in the game. He's had a very important impact in this Greek squad also. 4.8 rebounds per game. Sorry, 6.4 rebounds per game. He's also shooting 62%. Player with both three point range. See John of Park comes in. Giannis Antetokounmpo for Greece. This is the first free throw. So Serbia should get the last possession here as we bring the first quarter to a close. Bogdanovic has a mismatch now. His pass somehow ends up in the hands of Papa Nicolau. He hooks a pass to Vasiliadis, who lets it fly, and it's just off the mark. Bogdanovic, John, two possessions. Last two trips down the floor, a little shaky. We'll take a break here from Madrid. You score at the end of the first. Gold medals in both of those meccas in basketball. So first possession to Greece. They come out with Mazaris, Vasiliadis. Finds a terrific bounce pass to Barusis. At the Kumbo. Kai Mokoglu. Kamakoglu, I beg your pardon, come out for Greece. For Serbia, it's Kirsten, Brzevic, Jovic, Bogdanovic, and Teodosic. We see Vas Vasiliadis with that quick pass. We know he's got a quick release on his three pointers. He showed a very quick look, recognition of the play, got Barusis the ball. Great execution. That's a way to keep the defenders honest. You can show you can make that pass off there. Guys are going to be reluctant to help. Barusa should feel right at home here. He plays for Real Madrid. He knows this arena inside and out. Dave Dosic hands it back to Jovic. Signals to Jovic, you take the point. I'll play the off guard. Speaking of off guards, here's Bogdanovic. Jovic just passed down to the low post to Kerstic. Kerstic's going to go at Barusis, and the shot will drop. John Barusis separated himself defensively from Kerstic, so he couldn't use the contact of the body. And then he got up and he tried to contest that shot. He almost was able to get a hand on it. Vasiliotis. Pass a little too low for Brusis and Jovic dives after the loose ball. Good hustle by the young guard from Serbia. That's ours at the point for Greece. Kyle Koglu goes after Cevic and John, this will make a coach pull his hair out. The foul comes with less than a second on the shot clock. Yes, and I think uh, Rochevich didn't want to foul, but as we saw right at the end of that play, dropped his hands down and made contact. Well, Rochevich is facing a steep learning curve. Pardon the pun, he's going to go to the Estudiantes Club in Madrid. Estudiantes, of course, student in Spanish. And he was given a few lessons, was Brzevic against Spain. He committed all five fouls and made an early exit. Once again, uh, if you like, an inexperienced foul here.
Time of Koglu knocks down both shots. Jovic picks up his dribble. An area where teams like to trap. Kirsten now with a mismatch against Vasiliotis. Bogdanovich on the three, got it! Well, it's a good thing he got it because Jovic's jaw was open in the corner. Yes, but Bogdanovich sankly calmed that shot, hit that shot, and we saw his reaction after he made it. That was a big shot for him. Deliberate offense by the Greeks. Vasiliadis has got to shake free for one of his patented shots. A reverse scoop up and good by Kaima Koglu. Kaima Koglu shows us some skills. Close to the basket, split the defenders, found daylight, made a nice reverse layup. Look at that defense. He's also pressuring the perimeter as we see the Greeks very strong with their perimeter defense. The mid-range jumper by Teodosi off the mark. Barusis clears the boards. Zaris in the open court. To Kaima Koglu, why not? Give it to the guy who just scored last trip down the floor. He's guarded by Jovic. And to the combo! The basketball count. He just shuffled his feet on the way to the rim. Took an extra step there. Nice cut to the basket. Recognition by Kaima Koglu to find his teammate cutting. Well, here's our first timeout in the game. It comes with Serbia up by two against Greece, 28. 26. Hey, <laughs> Here's a look at the percentages from inside the arc. Both teams shooting relatively well. As my partner said before, it's a team you'd like to shoot above 40%. So uh, both teams able to get a good start. In stark contrast to the start you saw yesterday, John, between France and Croatia. I see both these teams mentally. You can just feel it. They're, these, these teams are focused. They're mentally into this game. Concentration. They're not turning the ball over. They're moving the ball. They're getting good shot attempts almost just about every possession. There's Yorgos Vindices, who has eight points. And he's had the hot hand for Greece. Tough balance for Coach Katsikaris. He's got a guy with a hot hand. He wants to get into his rotations. John, you mentioned before, you didn't like going to the bench, but if you had to go, you wanted a quick break, especially if you had a hot hand, you want to get right back in there. Well, Prince, he will be back in shortly, I'm sure. Barusis with the steal. Barusis to enter the combo, oh. and he goes to the rack. We saw his elbows were at rim level, throwing that ball down. Got out on the break quickly. Barusis led that with a nice pass. Well, that's a demonstration of the big man's union. Barusis was only going to pass to one guy in the break, and that's his fellow interior player. The guards aren't going to get it. He actually was looking the other direction. Defenders went with the other on the right wing. He swung it back. You know what it's like when those big guys get the ball. Don't give it back to the guards, man. You might not see it again. Barusis, again, demonstrating his ball handling skills, passing ability. Kerstich. Cruz, my partner, prophetic. He said Kersich has a nice touch for mid-range. There it is. Lucius spills it on the way to the basket. I think he got a foul here. I yeah. was going to get Teodosic. Yes, Teodosic got his hand in there. Ball actually went off of Bruce's foot, but there was a foul. So it's gonna be the ball out of bounds. This, this shot by Chris is important. It's gonna bring Bruce's away from the paint, get him away from the basket, open up some space. Kersic with six points right now. He leads the Serbs. Jovic has got his hands full. He's gonna try and guard the Greek freak. And Jovic draws the charge. Look at this quick, quick feet by Jovic. Slides to get in front, which is no easy task. 
I think Colby covers so much ground. You see him finishing the end of that break, but terrific defense by Funjovic. He'll give a touch to Kerstic here in the low post. Skips a pass over the top to Teodosic. Then flashes to the high post. The two veterans working the ball together. Teodosic, that's a tough shot, and it's nothing but string. He's very determined. Teodosic, we've seen him come out. He's aggressively looking for his options on offense. That's what his team needs, and he's been giving it to him so far. He has five points this evening for Serbia. Vasiliatis is working so hard to get the ball, but he just can't get free. He's open in the corner now. Mataris to the basket, and he is fouled by Teodosic. Teodosic protests his innocence. You be the judge. The contact was with the off arm of Lucas. The Manzanaris. Now, maybe just a quick word about what basketball means in Greece. You played in Athens during your playing days. It was one of the few countries in the early, early mid-90s where actually basketball is more important than soccer, which is a rarity in Europe. Right now, people really love their basketball. I would compare it to this in Spain, how really like the, uh, just adore their, their basketball players, the national team players especially. Well, I chatted to one of the one of our Greek colleagues who calls the game for Greek TV. And he said the Greek team are known as the Epiki, which means the national team, and, and it's just the basketball team. It doesn't apply to the football team or any other national team, but it's the basketball team. So alludes to what you were talking about, real basketball culture. They understand basketball. And this man here understands how to shoot. Bogdan Bogdanovich. You see him breaking out. There's two three-pointers already that he's hit this game. To go along with this mid-range jumper. Nice cut. Nice cut by Ante the combo with his length anywhere near the basket. You know he's going to be able to finish. Bogdanovich averages nine points per game. He's got eight so far. He's got the ball now. Markovic back in for Serbia. That's a tough drive by Markovic. Good defense by Greece. Arusas snaps a quick outlet to Mazaris. Pavel Koglu to Marusas. He goes out Radulica, who's in for Serbia. Good quick ball movement by the Greeks as they whip it around and find the open man. The shot hits the back of the rim by Mazaris. The ball did not stick in anybody's hands. That's a great possession by Greece, although they came up empty. Radulica showing some mobility. Just alligator armed it at the end. Get it over the rim. Here's Anthony Pumbu. They give it to the veteran Zizis. Manzaris in the corner. That's pretty basketball by the Greeks. And Manzaris gives Zizis a hug. Manzaris with an open with an open three. Teodosis floated off from the strong side to help on that penetration by Zizis. That's a no-no if you're a defender in that position. 35 each. Four to play. Here in Madrid, Markovic. A bang with Zizis. Radulica steps through. And that's a terrific pose move by Radulica. Right at the shot clock buzzer. He's able to get that shot off. Looks like he has a Charlie horse, Johnny. He's holding his thigh. He signals over to the bench. Kalinic strips off to come to the scorer's table right in the center of your screen. Passed Bruce is a little bit low, but somehow he comes up with it, puts it up and in. Great hands by Bruce. He's come up with this play. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It goes. Really, up. His pass finds Radulica. Radulica draws the double as Perusis comes over to help Zizis we, mismatch. We see Zizis ended up in the mismatch, but he definitely was shading Radulica to go baseline. He knew the help was coming from the baseline. Here we see Teodosic helping from the strong side, which left 
Montserrat wide open in the corner. Montserrat showing a little brotherly love to Zizis on the assist. Take those it's a shot drops. If you're, if you're Greece, you do not want Teodosis to get in this game. He's very dangerous as a scorer. You see he's aggressively looking for his options on offense. Hey, young players, watch out Teodosis gets his body right, catches and shoots. Tricky drive by Zizis. Great work by Zizis in this game. He's the team captain doing a phenomenal job finding the balance between distributing the ball and getting himself some looks. Teodosis feeling it, a quick release. No good. Back up Greece. It's a Greek team playing without uh, Spanoulis. Their superstar. Barusa shows good patience. A little shake and a shimmy. Just pass. Batted away by Bailitsa. Kalinic. And John, I, I just love this from Kalinic. You know, the hardest defensive skill is a is to close somebody out on the perimeter. And Colin and saw Papa Nicolau closing and just put it on the floor. Yes, Let's see if we see it right here. It's a play, previous play by Teodosi scoring, but you're right. Colin is recognizing Papa Nicolau closing out strongly. He attacked that closeout with a straight line drive. And instead of settling for a three pointer, he's able to get to the line for two free, two free throws. Colin has played with Serbia there last year in the European Championships. You see Teodosic, she was not with the team last year in the European Championships. Serbia, lucky to be here in many ways. They finished out of the medals in the European Championships. They finished in seventh position. These are the top six from Europe to get to come to the World Championships or now the World Cup, but because the Spanish were the hosts, Serbians got the extra place from Europe. Kalinic. The rebound is passed to Bogdanovic. He leaps up. Is he fancy taking on Yukas on the dribble? Now he's going to take Barusas on the dribble to the corner. Shot clock running down. Kalinic had to pull the trigger. Good close out by ZCC. He was there with two. Offensive player defending both. Radulica has to step right out to Barusas. He's proven he can shoot that three from the top of the key. Loose ball. Good hustle by Zizis. Shot clock at 10. To the corner. Papa Nicolau, the left handed shot. No good. Buyukis with the offensive rebound. And ZZ steps into a three and knocks it down. Big shot. We see great ball movement from this Greek team. They're finding the corners. They're stretching the defense. And on this opportunity, we see them going after an offensive rebound. ZZ steps into it, nails it for his eighth point. Coach Georgievich calls a timeout. Greece lead by one. It's 42-41. John, this is one of these games you, you don't want to see him go to the halftime changer right now. From a fan's perspective, it's back and forth, and guys making big shots, great plays. Keep the good times rolling. That's right. <laughs> this has been an incredibly well played game. Especially remember, this is high stakes. Loser goes home, winner advances. No, we saw. Greece won all five of their games in group play. Serbia only won two out of those five games, but two of those games could have easily won. They had one game stolen from them, and they were in the Brazil game also. Brazil came back at the end and took it away, but Serbia could easily have four wins. You're right, John. It was the French game you're alluding to. France won 74-73 on the last second free throw by Geoffrey Lovern to win it. The Serbs lost to Brazil by just eight points, 81-73. All those losses make them harder here in the knockout phase. Ratulica 
Left-handed jump hook falls. That's deep pulse position right underneath the rim. Great position. Great recognition by Teodosius. He spot him underneath the basket. Right now, Greece playing without a true pivot. As Barusis gets a break. Will Serbia go back to Radulica? May not get a chance here. Bring the first half to a close. ZC's shot is off. Radulica with the rebound now. Serbia with an opportunity to get the last possession of the first half. Ten seconds to play here in Madrid. Radulica sets the screen to the top of the key. Theodosius weaves his way through and Kalinic with the flush. Another and one by Nikola Kalinic. Working the baseline, moving well without the ball. As soon as he gets, gets the ball, we're going to see him explode off one foot. And he's going to throw it down with two hands. Absorbs the contact. Pulls up to the rim. Kalinic doing his chin ups on the rim and he evokes. You love to see that passion. Challenge has had an outstanding first half. Right now, I think he's the wild card in this game. Reese definitely did not expect his offensive production. He has 12 points. Coach Katsikaris wants to call a timeout with two seconds left. We'll see how Serbia defend. There's the strong drive by Nikola Kalinic as he looks down at his teammates. And the Greek fans are disconsolate. Coach Captain Karis was the Euro Cup Coach of the Year with Bilbao Basket, so he knows this country well, John. This Coach Captain Karis. He's also coached in Valencia, did a good job there. He's coached. St. Petersburg in Russia. He's also coaching Ike at tennis. Now he's got the honor and privilege of coaching his national team. Well, he's going into his reservoir of coaching plays, he's trying to conjure up an opportunity with two seconds left. John, two seconds. Does the player have an opportunity to put it on the floor once or twice? Yes, you want to see a long pass. To move the ball up court, you definitely have time for one, maybe even two dribbles. Serbia has 14 fouls. They cannot make a foul without sending the Greek player to the free throw line, even if it's not in the act of shooting. As you can imagine, it's a small, quick lineup by the Greeks. Prindices' shot is on the way. Oh, it wasn't far away. I don't know how that shot even came close. It was an unorthodox release by Yorgos Brindisis. While the teams will funnel out of the gym, they'll make their way to the halftime changing rooms. That man there, Coach Sasa Georgievich, can be pleased with his serve team. They lead Greece 46-42. Serbia in the white, Greece in the blue. If you're just joining us, welcome. Bienvenidos a España! And Ante Tacoma says, get out of my casa! Well, big stop by the Greeks. Parentheses, foul by Radulica. Let's see this, we see this last play. Let's see the replay of that great block shot by coming from the weak side. I think he comes out of nowhere. He's way up high to block that shot. All ball. That is terrific refereeing. It was all ball. We see parentheses on the other end. Go to work inside. Great footwork. Very quick with the spins, reverse pivots. You know he can shoot with either hand. Greece come out with Antetokounmpo, parentheses, Kalatis, Zizis. And Barusis. Angela Kumbo just 19 years old. What an experience it is for him to be at the top table of international competition in the basketball world. They lead says floater. No good. Gets his own rebound. Guarded closely by Angela Kumbo now. 
Markovic into the short corner. Radulica dispossessed by Barusis. Bogdanovic and Teodosic make the same cut. Bogdanovic goes to the basket. He's fouled on the on the way. The foul happened on the body, not on the uh, the block was clean, wasn't it? Yes, the block was clean, but the fouls before that we see as on the drive. Actually, they're going to give him in the act of shooting. We see him right there's where the foul occurred. So Bogdanovic tried to turn the corner. I think that Gompu wasn't quite able to contain that penetration. Bogdan Bogdanovic, the chance to get the double digits. There it is. He has 10. Joins his teammate Nikola Kalinic. The double digits for Gage. ZC's in the wing for Greece. Terrific back screen by Kalatis. Parentheses. You can see how Bogdanovic digs down. Now he has to close out and enter the combo with a soft touch. That's a big shot, Leon. That's his first three pointer of this tournament so far. He's one for nine. If he gets on track outside, watch out if you're Serbia. He is fired up, that's for sure. Oh, he's got to guard Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich to Radulica, got away with the travel. Missed shot, and Belica with the follow-up. Great hustle by Nemanja Belica following this play. This game's picking right up where it left off. Shooting at a torrid pace. This Kalapis, he'll let fly with a three. Be a profit. Good call. Greece is really taking advantage of those corners. We see so many open corner three point shots. They haven't been able to knock them all down, but Kalapis hits this one to tie the game. 50 all. Bogdanovic to Radulica. Spins on Barusis to left handed jump hook, and it's good. I'll tell you what, he's, Radulica has had an outstanding tournament, and he's just continued to work in this game. Look at the footwork. Just absorbs the contact, continues, and flips it in there with his left hand. Fans didn't see this, John, but I love it. Radulica came right over to the bench, scored in front of his teammates, he got a couple of high fives. The cohesiveness, you need it when you're playing against a quality opponent like Greece. He's got a smooth touch from the line. Radulica, there's Vladimir Stimats on the bench. Serbia lead by three. Looks like Zizis has some blood. They have to be, get that covered up. So, Lucas will come in in his position. Lucas. First opportunity to get some minutes. Kumbu tries to feather a pass to Barusis, broken up by Nick Bayelitsa. Bayelitsa hustled out there to contest Ante de Kumbu, the three point line. Mendes with that push shot from distance. I've not seen him to pull it from that far away from the bucket. Go to your shooting clinic, John. To work on his mid-range game. No, he's usually very effective, even with that strange-looking shot. He's patented, like you mentioned. We've seen him hit some big shots with that little shot put. The kick ball by the Greeks. It'll be 14 seconds shot clock. Serbia with the possession on the baseline. Dosic was open on a seal from Slukas, and they just couldn't get it to him. Markovic checks his feet. Now his teardrop shot rattles in and out. Bailey leads and ties up after the Pumbo. Those are two big bodies falling to the deck. Good hustle by both players. If there's any anything you could point at, a Greece might not be doing as well as they'd like. It's it's uh Keeping Serbia off the offensive boards. Probably six offensive rebounds. 
just those extra few possessions are really what's making the difference because everything else is very evenly matched. All right, the Tungle open in the low post. He runs into a wall of white jerseys. Serbians rotating quickly. Kalatis lets fly. That won't fall. Dulica with the rebound for Serbia. Bogdanovic is going to slice to the bucket. And his push shot's up and good. Boy, he looks very confident today. We saw him make his first shot, and he's just gone to work. Going about his business very calmly, gets past Anthony de Kumpo, gets to the gets to the deep paint. It's Lucas on the wing, it's left handed runner, no good. Loose ball, Tay Dosic comes up with it. Serbia looked to push the ball up the floor. Greece has to get a stop here, they got to establish some defensive presence. Dosic directs traffic to the Serbians. Now Bogdanovic will take the point. He played some point guard for Partizan this season. He's gonna try and break down into the combo. Good stand by Barusis on the help side. Now it's a two-on-one for Greece. Kalatis and Slukas. Kalatis gonna take it himself. It won't fall. Slukas keeps it alive for Greece. Pushes it back out to Kalatis. Good hustle play by Kostas Slukas. There's the mismatch as Bogdanovic is guarding Barusis in the low block. Serbia is unable to get past more than five points in advantage. Seeing Greece has led the game by one point. Serbia's never gotten more than five points ahead on the board. Very important. Greece scores here to stay close. Kerstic is going to check in for the Serbs to replace Radulica. Kalinic comes in for. Teodosic. Sideline ball for Greece. Bailitsa gets in the passing lane. Look at the hustle by Bailitsa. Terrific defensive play by him. And Serbia. Bogdanovic spills it. And John, that'll annoy Coach Djordjevic. Get a great hustle play by Bailitsa. Bogdanovic gives it right back to the Greeks. Kalat just gets deep in the lane. His little shot won't fall, but Barusis with the putback. And here's the ever important basket you talked about. Big basket by Barusis. Able to get his right hand on that. Use the glass. Excellent job. The right handed shooter, John Belitsa, <laughs> loves to put the ball on the floor with his left hand. He handles the ball very well, and we've seen he goes left. And right, but it looks like he actually prefers going left. Kamakoglu comes in for Greece. Quick pass to Bogdanovich. Moves it out to Kalinic. Kerstic. His 16 footer up and good. We can see Leon Kurt. Kerstic definitely looks more comfortable in this game than he has in. All the five games that we saw earlier in, in Granada, finding his rhythm, and that's just when Serbia needs it. Come at the man, come at, come at the hour, I beg your pardon, come at the man. Kerstic, eight points, coming off the bench. Serbia reestablished that five-point lead. CCs will come in for Atikumbo. Kalatis calls to play for Greece. It's guarded by Jovic now in the game for Serbia. Barusis gets called for the travel. That's unfortunate for Barusis. That extra step probably wasn't necessary. Going to his left, he would have been able to get his left hand hook off as it was. See him right there. 
Let's try to get an extra, extra step and get further past Kerstich. Serbia a chance to establish what would be their biggest lead of the game. Ray leaves it on his left hand. Now he'll go on the right. Gets it down. Belitz has been determined in this game. He's been looking to drive the ball to the basket. He's not taken one three-pointer attempt. Here's a look at the drive by Belitz. Uh, Coach Katsikaris wants a timeout. Serbia lead Greece 59-52. John, a good time out, I think, here by uh, Coach Katsikaris. Doesn't want this game to get away from him. Serbia have established their largest lead of seven. Anything that uh, you think he'll look for here in this offensive trip down the floor? Look for them to move the ball like they have been. I think they want to go inside early and then play from there. Got a guy like Barusi. You want to get him some touches. We saw him travel on the last play, but more often than not, good things are going to be are going to happen when he has the ball in there. See the togetherness of the Serbs. The young Bogdanovich is having a word with Kersic. I'm sure there isn't too much that Kersic hasn't seen before. Kersic might be saying, "Okay, son, you just get out there and, and do your thing." Kerstin's 31 years young, and Bogdanovich just 22. Let's kill out to see what the Greeks come up with. Oberus has scrolled down the lane. He was open momentarily. It's a good ball movement that you talked about, John. Oberus is going to try and test his arm from outside. The good ball movement from the Greeks. Just couldn't get Bruce's that touch inside. It clean look for three wouldn't fall for him. They lead up. He'll step back from three. That's no good. Galapis in the open court, followed by Jovic. The term that uh, buzzword. Used to be around years ago, John, a player called a point forward. Big Elites is almost a prototype of that position. Yes, we've seen him play the pick and roll with the five man. He's coming off there penetrating and looking to dish. We've seen him finish some close looks at the basket also. He's, he's his runner. Draws a foul on Bielitsa. You love this togetherness. Three players come over and help a teammate off the floor. Now, Leon, when I was talking to the the people that were in Sevilla and saw Greece, that's one thing they all pointed out. Is that there's this great chemistry on this Greek team. Plays together. You can just see how well they move the ball. Well, winning certainly was a long way to establishing that chemistry. The Greeks came through Group B with a 5 0 record. They beat Senegal. Philippines, Puerto Rico, Croatia, and Argentina, their last game coming into the knockout phase. All the games basically were comfortable wins, but there were a lot of question marks about them coming in because they have a, you know, Birch has saved a one point there by knocking it off the rim. They don't have their big name players that they've had in the past. The younger guys have stepped in and done a great job. Kerstich, rims out. It's Kalakis. On the wing. Barus is disease. He's at the top of the key. Kamakoglu, extra pass to close to Slukas. Oh, and that just rimmed out, didn't it? In and out. That was a good look. Greece struggling a little bit in this passage of play. They they gotta, find the bottom of the net. They got to get a stop here. 
Great team defense. Zisi's ro rotated, broke, break that pass up. Barusi's was also there. Knocked out of bounds by the Greeks. Here's the tip by Berchevich. Saves a point. You never know when that'll make a difference. Berchevich, the man who tipped it out. We saw Berchevich tip it out, but if that ball would have went in after he tipped it, it would have counted as two points. That's right. We saw that in the previous game. Eagle Eye. He's on it. Jovic on the wing. He'll give it to Tate Dosic, who's just checked back in. Tate Dosic is... Oh, wow. We're going to get the benefit of seeing this on instant replay. Tate Dosic is going to go to the line to shoot three. The foul on Kalatis. There are only two seconds on the shot clock. He got him out there quickly. Kalatis. The quick hands. Got him there on the his forearm. There was some contact. Three shots for Teodosic. Third personal. It's the third personal foul on Kilatis. Add to his misery. <laughs> Nothing worse, John, when you commit a foul and player gets to go to the line three times. You just, you just want the game to get back going, don't you? You do not want to foul a player when he's in the act of shooting. You want to send him to the free throw line for those easy looks. Teodosic makes all three free throws. And all of a sudden, Serbia has that nine-point lead. They've extended, extended their lead. Teodosic right on his average. He averages over 10 points per game. He's got 11. Holland has shown his versatility. He's going to guard in the perimeter. Z sees his runner, dips under, wouldn't fall for him, but he's going to get an offensive foul called against uh, Nico Zizis. Uh, looks like Perusis is called for that foul. Persich was blocking out, had the, had the position underneath. We see the push there by Perusis. And that's two free throws for Kerstich. That's an easy one for the referees to call, John, isn't it? You can see. Some worried looks on those fans. Bruce is pleading his case, John, but he doesn't really have a case there. He extended his arms to their full length. And he pushed his way to the backboard. Yeah, we saw it clear in the instant replay. And those are plays that typically, the right underneath the basket, those two plays are typically going to go against the offensive player. And the defensive player, certainly when he has position. Third personal foul on Barusis, and he's going to be replaced here by Glenn Adakis, I think. Oh, in fact, uh, Coach Katsikaris changes his mind. He taps Glenn Adakis on the shoulder, and draws him away from the substitute bench, and says, come right back down here and take a seat on the bench. Barusis will stay in. Katsikaris showing him some faith. He's got three fouls. You definitely don't want to pick up that fourth one here. Nice pass. Stripped by a collapsing defense. The Serbs surround the basketball. Teodosic fakes the pass, pulls the trigger. That's off hard by Teodosic's standards. Zizic with a minute left in the third quarter. Kalatis is runner, drops. Good aggressiveness here, attacking the basket. Kalatis with that streak. It'll absorb some contact. Use the glass to finish that shot. He brings Freeze to within nine. Kerstich, he's already made a couple from that distance. Great hustle play by Jovic, but Freeze will have possession. Freeze trying to carve out some of this nine point deficit they face. Kyle McCoglu's three, no good. So Serbia with a chance to extend their lead as we bring the third quarter to a close. Just about two seconds difference between shot clock and game clock. Teodos, it's the veteran, has the ball in his hands. He'll know what to do. Start to attack the basket with less than 10 seconds. Oh, a look away pass to Kerstich! Somehow Kerstich missed it! Kalatis with the runner, it won't go! John, Miami, what a great pass by Teodos! 
Kersic. Great pass. Look away. Led Kersic to the basket. He was unable to finish. One up hard. And strong off both feet. Just a little too far from the basket. And in, in this case, great execution on the pass and the, and the roll. Well, at the end of the third, Serbia with a nine-point lead. It's Serbia 64, Greece 55. Greece have parentheses, Vasiliadis, Papa Nicolaou, Kalatis, Kaimakoglu. Kerstich is passed to Jovic. One more to Simonovic, who lays it up and in. A case of offense by accident. Yeah, we see a swarming defense, active hands, active feet by the Greek defenders. Serbia was just that much better being able to pass the ball around, find the open look. Vasiliadis with his first open look of the evening, and he shows you his quality. He knocks that three down. And we see. Definitely, you do not want to give Vasiliadis an open look at the basket. He gets hot in a hurry. Another layup inside, this time by Teodosic. Greece is not in a position where they can trade baskets. They're going to have to get some stops, which will also help them on the offensive end. Again, Vasiliadis. Pops out on the pin-down screen. to foul on Kersic as he tried to fight through the screen. See, Vasiliadis goes to the ref. He says, am I shooting? Am I shooting? The ref says, no, the foul was on somebody else. No shooter's mentality, Vasiliadis. Still out to spins, Jovic. Slips a bounce. Bounce pass to Kaiba Koglu. And Kaiba Koglu weaves his way for the layup. That's a nice move. Didn't sell for a three-point shot. Got to the got to the lane and was able to maneuver his way for a nice, nice finish with the left. Jovic throws right down Main Street. The foul on the perimeter. It's gonna be a Vasiliadis. That'll be his second. Looks like he was clearly fouled. Before he was in the act of shooting, George Bush wants that the continuation play. Vasiliadis has used two fouls to stop sure baskets. Only the second team foul. Bogdanovic now in the game for Serbia. Kerstic wants the ball against Prindices. Dosis back to Kerstich. Bogdanovich with a deep three. The Troika from Bogdanovich from downtown. Bogdanovich is breaking out. We see him with a deep three pointer. He needed every foot of that range. The defender wasn't able to help down and get in, get there in time to contest that shot. Well, some worried looks from Gladiadakis on the right and Barusis on the left. That man there, Sasha Georgievich. Got his team in fine form. They faced their first elimination game here in the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Bogdanovich. To Bielitsa. Bielitsa rises between two blue jerseys and wouldn't fall. Now here's Kalantis on the wing. Jovic with a tactical foul to stop the break. Jovic's third personal foul. Just the second team foul on Serbia this quarter. Zizis comes in to replace Kataliadis. And that's Dukumbu who's going to come in to replace Papa Nikolaou. Prentices in the corner. Easy just floater, no good. Serbia with the rebound. Tay Dosic. Head match it to Jovic, who hands it off to Bogdanovic. Serbia in no hurry. Lead by 11. Bogdanovic is going to go to the rim, and he'll draw the foul on Prentices. John, we wondered when Bogdanovich was going to show us 
is True Metal. He's got 15 points so far in this game, and this is the elimination game. He's played very well. He has 21 minutes and on the floor. Like you said, 15 points, five for seven from twos, two for, I'm sorry, five for seven from the field. But three out of four from the, from the three point line. There's the EuroLeague rising star this past season, KK Partizan. Led to Fenerbahce in Turkey next season. Just the free throw and the veteran Tedos is over to calm him down. So Bogdanovich makes one of two. I saw him first as an under-19, John, the under-19 World Championships in Latvia. He was impressive then and he continues to improve. The offensive foul called against Anthony Kumbo. Taya Dosic defended in the low post. Anthony Kumbo was looking to exploit the mismatch, and he gets called for the offensive foul. He's a soft arm, arm to, we can see this. Actually, it was Taya Dosic that made the, initiate that contact. Reeks extensive pressure off the floor. This is an interesting, this, uh, Matchup as Anthony Combo guards Teodosic on the perimeter. Pass to Radulica. Radulica just finds a little bit of space to lay it up and in. Great composure by Radulica once he gets the ball there. Takes his time. Finds the seam in the defense. There's Zizi as he backs out Jovic. Kicks to the corner to Kai Makoglu, and his shot won't fall. And again, Serbia with the defensive rebound. Pass over the top to Belica. He's fouled, John, and you just wonder, are Serbia getting a handle on this game? Do they have one foot in the quarterfinals? They're pulling away, and they look completely in control of this game. They're just methodically pulling away. I mean, I think it's been their defense has been just shutting Greece down on the other end, and they've been executing their offense, not allowing Greece to get any easy baskets or transition plays. Coach Katsikaris wants to take a timeout here from Madrid. Serbia lead by 14. John, we should say that uh, you and I have seen plenty of basketball games. I mean, 14 point difference, six minutes left. Still plenty of time for the Greeks to get in it, but they need a sense of urgency. They need to really get that momentum back. Couple of stops, couple of buckets. And at these stages, I always think you need a hustle play from somebody. Somebody needs to draw a charge or get an offensive rebound. Make something happen. They got to break the momentum right now. Serbia looks very comfortable on the floor right now. Like you said, you've got to get some stops, make some hustle plays. I think, I think Greece has been hustling this game. They've been moving the ball on offense. It's just things have not dropped. Things have not been going their way. Serbia's played an outstanding game. Very effective. Shooting very well also. 54, 55 percent from three-point range, six out of 11. 54 percent from two-point range, 21 out of 39. Taking care of the ball, seven turnovers, got 12 assists. Bailey's is going to step to the line for two free throws. And uh, just to echo your thoughts, John, Serbia. 15 for 17 from the line. Just a almost a flawless game from them this evening. Yeah, this may have been as well as we've seen them play this entire time. We see that Bogdanovich stepping it up, and also Kersis has come up big besides Kalinic with that great offensive production. Serbia right now have got five players in double digits, so balances their attack. They lead to fouls. Barusis in the low post. It's his second foul, the team's third. Pilates pass. Tender for Kai Mokoglu. Bayelitsa knocked it out of bounds. 
Serbia continues with that pressure defense. Contesting passes. Rotating. Making things very difficult for this Greek squad. Jovic anticipates the pass. Zizis came off a back pick. I don't think Zizis wanted it himself, John. Turnover for Greece. Belitsa. This pass somehow ends up in the hands of Radulitsa. Bogdanovic rises. Oh, he wouldn't get the shooter's roll. Time of Koglu with the rebound. Intercepted by Teodosic. It's a three on one. And Teodosic chooses not to press the numbers, John. Interesting decision by Teodosic. We're going to run the run the clock down. The Serbian fans applaud his decision. Jovic to Radulitsa. Teodosic with the three. No good. A little talking point for you and me, John. And I always think, you know, it's too early to start thinking about milking the clock. You get a three on one, you want to press that advantage. I agree, but I'm not going to doubt Teodosic in this situation. I think the players on the court are the ones that really can have the, that can really feel in the moment. We see Teodosic just do some spectacular things where he'll just pull up from nobody's expecting it. This, in this instance, he just felt his team needed to set things up. Accommodations to Teodosic for the steal. It's what the Greeks need. They need some stops. Zizis turns the corner on the high screen into Barusis. Just fell softly off the rim for Giannis Barusis. And now Teodosic sends the ball in transition to Radulica, who acknowledges the pass. Well, Rado, who am I to question if he lost Teodosic? No, Radulica, one thing he's done this game is he's run the floor. And this time we see he's finally rewarded. Excellent pass and recognition by Teodosic. Good demonstration of how to be a rim runner. For a big player, Vasiliani snaps a pass to Barusis, and Barusis again is shot ever so short with the left hand. You can just sense Greece has been really pressing and forcing, just coming up a little short on their shots. Coach Georgievich is a school teacher on the sideline. He tells his players to sit down on the bench. We don't want a technical. The left handed runner by Bogdanovich falls. And the game sometimes is like that. The Barusis couldn't get those rolls, but Bogdanovich did. Zizis, his three, that's good. Zizis, the veteran with a big three. And John, I think Greece needs to start looking at three balls now every trip down the floor. Yeah, and they're gonna have to get some stops, Leon. They cannot trade baskets. Less than four minutes to play. Okay, Dosic wisely allows some seconds, precious seconds to whittle up the clock. Bogdanovich with the corner, three-pointer! Bogdanovich! Look what it means, Dorasko Kotic on the sideline. And Serbia extend the lead to 20. Barusis inside is fouled by Bejelica. They may, they may call an intentional foul, unsportsmanlike foul on this, which you certainly don't want to do if you're Bejelica up by 20. Maybe two free throws for Barusis and possibly the ball out of bounds as well. Well, we alluded to the fact that, John, these two teams saw each other in 2010 in the Acropolis tournament. It's a friendly tournament in preparation for the World Cup 2010 in Turkey. And right now, the Greeks are taking exception to the hard foul by Belitsa. Vasiliotis had a word. Zizis had a word. Marusas had a word. Belitsa. Bailitz is going back and exchanging pleasantries with Giannis Barusis in front of us. The fans can't see, but Coach Georgievich, who's a fiery character himself, is trying to tell Bailitz to calm down. You know, Liam, they're in the heat of the moment right now, but you don't want to do this if you're leading by 20. There's no reason to do this right now. It's going to be an unsportsmanlike foul, which will result in the two free throws. No, we also have two and technicals here. Which will... So Bielitsa gets a technical foul, but Rusis gets a technical foul. Of course, they count as personal fouls as well. So it's two fouls because of this altercation on Bielitsa. Be 
Barusi's with five fouls. He will not be able to shoot the free throws. So Barusi steps out. He will play no more part in this game, and, and that hurts the Greeks. Barusi goes out with nine points. Belly says also substituted out of the game. Bailitsa with four personal fouls. So Vasiliotis will step to the line and shoot the free throws. As Barusis has been disqualified from the game. There's a look at Coach Katsikaris, who's done an outstanding job, John, hasn't he? Getting his team here. He finished 5 0 in the group. He beat some strong opponents in Argentina and Croatia in particular in their last two group games. Yeah, and they played excellent basketball. People have raved about how well they played in Sevilla. Kelatis gets in the, in the lane and uses the window to good effect. His left-handed shot falls. Well, how did he get that shot off? Went in, now they've got to get some defense. They've got to get a stop, come up with a steal. He's with a relatively small lineup on the floor. We see Kamakokolo playing as the center against Radu Litsa. 17 points the difference. Serbia trying to extend that lead. Kaunic, a little drop pass to Markovic. Shot clock running down. Bogdanovic has to let it go. And now Greece pick up the loose ball. Vasiliotis in transition. It's Kalatis. He'll stroll down Main Street. The shot just wouldn't drop. And some groans from the Greek fans. And that, in many ways, John sums up the second half for Greece. How many of those shots just wouldn't drop for them? Yeah, that symbolizes what they've struggled with. Unable to finish, just barely missing, just coming up short. This is the sixth game in eight days for the players, John. It, are legs tired at the stage? Oh, legs are tired, no doubt. There's fatigue sets in. There's our Giannis Marusis on the bench. Our thoughts are with him. He's such a fantastic player is Marusis. He's averaged a double-double, as you said earlier. He's put up 12 points and 10 rebounds per game. He finishes today with nine points. There's parentheses at the line, and this is what Serbia want to try to avoid. You don't want to commit fouls and give your opponent a chance to put points on the scoreboard while the clock has stopped and you have a lead. Parentheses converts both. Greeks press up the floor. Markovic gets it across the midcourt strike for Serbia, guarded by Vasiliotis. Kalinic into Radulica. He draws a double team. Markovic with a deep three. You can shoot those when you're up big. Yeah, and Markovic knocks down the three. That's a good observation. When, you're, when things are going your way, you've got that lead. Makes those shots just that much easier. Zizis from the corner. His shot, no good. Radulica with the rebound, and he promptly slows things down. And our Serbian fans dotted throughout the arena. They're putting their hands together. A few Serbian shouts here in the Palacio de Deportes in Madrid. It's Markovic, who just lost the handle. He knows his gym well. He's played here many times in the ACB Spanish League. Vasiliadis with that quick release, no good. Brindisis keeps it alive for Greece. Markovic steals the pass. Kalatis commits the backboard violation. John, it was an outstanding first half of basketball. Both teams played extremely well. This is a deep three by Markovic. But Serbia came out in the second half, and they've been nothing short of outstanding. Yeah, Serbia's just, their defense has been great, forcing. Some turnovers. Everything's very difficult. Greece unable to get a comfortable look at the basket for most of the second half. Struggle to score points. Radulica in a sea of blue jerseys. Draws the foul. But Greece scored 13 points in the third quarter, and right now in the fourth, they have 13 as well, as compared to 20 and 22 points respectively in the first and second quarter. So 
as ever. John, your analysis is bang on. It's been the defense of the Serbs that's really won this game for them. Yeah, we saw them in Granada. They defend well. It's a good team defense. Defense, and they have one thing you've got to point out. You can't help reckon, but recognize is they have such a physical perimeter. Those players, you've got Kalinic, Jovic, Kedosis, Markovic. That's such a got a lot of physicality on that perimeter. A lot of tall, a lot of good size, good length. They make things difficult for the opposing for the opposing teams. We saw the sad eyes of Nick Kilatis. Greece will exit this tournament. Simonovic comes in and commits the foul. Just 40 seconds left. And Miroslav Radulice is going to check out to be replaced by Vladimir Stimac for Serbia. He gets a high five, a well deserved high, a high 10 actually from coach Georgievich. Asiliatis at the charity strike. Yes, five. Greeks have been led by Zizis, their leader, veteran Kalatis with 12, and Brindisis with 12, all three players with a dozen each. Serbia have been that much better. Kalatis is going to add two more points onto Greece's total after the turnover by Serbia. Simonovic going to back it out and slow things down for the Serbs. There's a 10 second differential between shot clock and game clock. O'Callan is one of the alley oop at the back. The match. Try to get his name to the scorebook. Bank shot rips out. Simonovic wants to get his name in the book and he does. As he looks over to his teammates. And that'll finish this game off. Serbia will send Greece back home. The score 90 to 72. It was an outstanding second half performance by the Serbians. We'll go back to the five star hotel here in Madrid. Get ready for the quarterfinals. There's your final score in the 2014 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Serbia 90, Greece 72.